We have this balcony over here. Let's have a check. Ooh, wow. Oh, it's nice. It's like just for drinking and drugs and stuff today. <laughs> just drinking. Nothing much. Hello, slave. transferred to this beautiful place. Look at this. This is the beach view and we have our own <laughs> mini lingkod lingkod over there. Lingkod lingkod. Sa tagi ko. Lingkod lingkod. Lingkod lingkod. What do you call that? Kuya? Cabana. Cabana? Cabana. Cabana. So, you're really blessed and I'm so happy we we both came here. Thank you, Kuya. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Love you. Bye bye. Hello. <laughs> okay, bye bye. We are getting ready for our last day here. And by the way, if you're coming here in Cebu and you're thinking of, oh, where to go when it comes to beaches, when it comes to, you know, a chill place, I would recommend this place when it comes to tranquility because it is very, very relaxing. I don't know if you can see it, but those are the, some of teeny tiny um, tent with all the bin bags like you can just chill there with your beer on a bed and with a good weather so it depends because sometimes because right now it's a bit cloudy so you don't really want to go out that much at this time and it's early in the morning because we want to have a morning dip in a pool you can also go to the beach but just be careful because most of the beaches here in Cebu got a lot of uh, sea urchin and you don't want that those are the spiky ones so you have to really wear something like footwear uh, I don't know like uh, divers slippers or something anyway to cut the story short this place to be honest on our first day we were a little bit disappointed because we paid a lot of money but our view was not that great we were not here, we just got transferred yesterday and we just actually requested and it's for free because there's no much people right now. But then again, after requesting, they transfer us yesterday and now we're here. And um, the service, by the way, is like 10 out of 10. So because the service is so good, the people here are really, really nice. I would highly recommend this place, to be honest. And Joseph, the guy at the front desk, he's a really nice person. So. I would say this is a decent place to, you know, enjoy your vacation. So you can see here, that's the uh, mini Duyan Duyan. Duyan is a swing. And, um, oh yeah, 
that's the main beach this part i'm gonna go there later on yep because we are on the side part and this part i like it here as well because look oh sorry for that that's really bad it's look beautiful right today is like very high tide so yeah that's the beach area part where there's a lot of bin bags and you can just like uh do the skin tanning whatever you want to do um there if, if there's any event they have a band there at night and in that area that's like the restaurant and the rest is history <laughs> the rest is history just kidding so that's basically how it looks like everywhere here I really love this place. I would highly recommend this place for people that's not really looking at uh, so much fancy, um, expensive place. Although this is considered as expensive. But if you're in a group, just go for it because it's worth it. The service is 10 out of 10. But the beach itself, I'll be honest, it's like 6 out of 10. But again, it's the service. The people here is amazing. Truly amazing. And I would really highly recommend this place and it's actually not bad it's just that i think they need to work on with a lot of things like wi-fi there's no wi-fi in a room but if you have your data if you have a mini pocket wi-fi then you can live and also like there is a wi-fi a very strong wi-fi near the lobby area so it's fine at the restaurant as well but you know that's the purpose of it if you're going on a vacation you should shut down your world for me, on Saturday and Sunday, I was like, mm, this is my day, this is my time to shine, baby. So that's it. So I hope this helps. As you can see right now, I'm actually wearing my mask because I'm at the lobby area and I'm not eating or drinking anything. So I have to always keep my mask on. This is like their policy here. And there's not much people around, so don't worry. So this is the receiving area or where you checked in. And this is where you can order and eat out so yep, that's the restaurant over there so we're just exploring the place walking around the places here and these are the examples rooms in this area some of it are still closed because of the pandemic and it opens just recently here this is my background there's a lake over there so nice there's like a lake over there it's so cool oh my God. this dog scared me oh and there's another swimming pool but unfortunately it's closed we're entering a, a different area of this resort this resort by the way is really really huge they have like one two three four a total of four swimming pools but there's only like two swimming pools that's available for the guests that's because it needs to be restored cleaned and all so this is another pool that's the area it's really big but again there's no lifeguard in this area look and also it is not cleaned compared to the two swimming pools sorry in the other area that one Oh, let's go to the play area so that I can. This is Ja Ja. Hi. Hi. And this is Kai. So these are my travel buddies for a yeah, couple the of. They are the we trolls. Are the trolls. And, we're and we are just having a morning stroll right now. Mm -hmm. And. This pool is cleaning. Exactly. So we are going to the playground so Tina can play. Haha. <laughs> You're right. It needs a lot of cleaning in this area. Look. That's the playground. This is a different part of the resort. You know guys, I'm so surprised how big this resort is. They just need to like it's like every places we go in is like a different world. Right. Pero I think they really did not bother to clean this area because there's just 
15 yeah there's just like 15 rooms that are occupied yeah especially last night so because of the pandemic there's only like a few workers that can service this this whole place this huge place so we understand it and that's why we are still lucky and happy that we were able to experience most of their amenities even though this is after the pandemic Hello everyone, so we just booked our grab and I am really super tanned already and we're going back to Cebu City City. It's been a great stay here. It's deep with our little luggage, my luggage. And we're just waiting for the grab driver to reach here. It's been a great adventure and we'll definitely book another resort but not here. Sorry for my armpit. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe.